Hey guys, here's the GTA guy coming in with another video. So I have said this in the past many times, but I never went into detail on why I behave so. I am referring to me saying that kick.com is the hell pit where all the reprobates go to stream because due to the nature of the so-called content that they make, they cannot go to other platforms like let's say YouTube or Twitch because their asses would get permabanned immediately. But the situation on kick is a little bit different because as many of you know, this streaming platform is a little bit too loose when it comes to enforcing their terms of service. There has been a lot of controversies in this platform in the recent years, in some cases with little to no consequences for the streamers that were involved in them. But before we jump into the topic of today's video, let's talk a little bit about the origins of this hellhole called Kick. So Kick launched on October 2022 as an alternative to Twitch.com. Its main selling points were first, better pay for streamers, second, the possibility to stream certain content that you could not in other platforms gambling for example, and third, the main reason why it is considered to be the no man's land of streaming nowadays, a big focus on less restrictive moderation. Kick.com is backed by Stake.com, which is an online casino. This streaming site gained popularity because in addition to the points that I mentioned before, they struck in the right time when Twitch started to ban gambling streams, which for whatever reason were very successful at the time. And obviously being backed by an online casino, Kick didn't give a shit about banning gambling and even promoted it. Another big dick move by them was to sign deals with very popular streamers at the time, like this guy who got cocked. No, this must be for today. And this big titty lady. Because she was trying to farm clout and relevancy. And this juicer right here. Who casually signed a 100 million dollar deal. But like I said, the lack of moderation on kick is what basically turned it into a hell pit with almost no sense of morality whatsoever. At the very least, some of the most popular streamers on this site are absolute trash. People like Jack Doherty, who is an absolute cancer to society, going around harassing people, being an annoying shit to his neighbors and filming it, and just being a dig really. Then you also have people like that older douchebag Neon, an old cloud chaser monster that centers his so-called content on bothering people and using them as props. Not so long ago they also signed yet another douchebag who goes by the name of FussyTube that I am pretty sure you all know about. He recently got relevant again because of acting absolutely deranged on stream, calling the cops, getting arrested and abusing of a mentally disturbed woman in an airport. Then you also have Vitali, another crazy ass dude. He used to be a YouTube prankster who saw his career go down the toilet after he got arrested arrested for beating the shit out of some random woman on the streets while being high out of the sky on mushrooms or some shit. And the list goes on and on and on and on. So with this picture in mind you probably can imagine the amount of shit that goes down every day at kick. And believe it or not from all those names I just listed none of them are remotely as bad as the rest of the people I will mention now. These idiots I just talked about are like the tip of the iceberg. There are people streaming on this side that are way worse, almost screaming worse I would say. So let's begin with the face of Kick, Aiden Ross. Starting from the fact that he got permaban from Twitch for having a really toxic community, spamming hardcore offensive messages on the chat and stuff like that, he has had various controversies on Kick too. He showed for live more than once during stream. What do y'all want to watch on Pornhub, bro? What do y'all want to watch, bro? I don't support porn. Like, I don't, I don't support the shit. What the fuck do y'all want to watch on here, bro? I don't support the shit. I don't condone it. I don't support it. He showed people smoking crack live. What do you, what do you, you hear that, man? Smoke it, pussy. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, God, I got to see your face. Yo! <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Why are you doing that, bro? Come Let's on, talk. Man. Put it down and talk to us like men. Put it down, put it down, hey, put it down, yeah, bro. I thought you guys did take my hit, goddammit. Why are you doing it, though? Brother, brother, don't do Stop! it. Stop! Right don't do it, let us talk you through it, please, please, please. I'll, get, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Just don't die, I don't care, I'm not Yeah. Either, well, fuck you. And people doing other crazy shit. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> bro, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> Fuck 
This guy being the battle horse of Kik doesn't make them look good to be honest. But that is not all. There are way worse people here. Let's take for example this guy that goes by the name of Hill Mike. So this dude got his winner gobbled and nothing wrong with that. I mean who doesn't like that right? But this absolute genius had no better idea than streaming while the act was happening. And get this, he got banned for one day. Yes, you heard that right. So who gives a fuck if you get your pipe shine live for 50,000 people to rejoice watching if you only get a 24 hour ban, right? And not happy with that, he would later be banned again for doing cocaine live on stream. This dude is just unbelievable man. Then if we go even further into the rabbit hole, we can see shit like this guy that goes by the name of Suspendas, who basically straight up paid a prostitute and f***ed with her while live streaming. And this guy would later also be caught sensually assaulting a woman that was allegedly passed out from drinking too much. Oh my god. Damn. Oh man. Oh no, is it too sexy? Can we go? Sus hey, let's go, man. Hey, sus suspenda. Let's go. N no, chotomate, please. We can we go, please? Oh my God. Oh my God. No, no, no. She likes it. She's not like you know. It's different. Yep, that is the kind of shit you can expect to see when entering kick.com. And there I was thinking that the worst shit there was Jack Doherty or maybe Nian. And the main reason I am making this video is because of a clip I saw the other day from yet another psychopath that is streaming on kick who got banned because his stupid ass had no better idea than play with a firearm on camera. <laughs> That's so hot. Stop! Get to me! Why is it also Say ah. Ah. Why is there a... Is this my taser? Agua. <laughs> 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 According to what I could dig up, this dude was also drunk at this moment, and allegedly the gun was not loaded. Oh my god! Look! Jesus, if you're tripping, bro, it's literally... Abuelita! Relax, I know how to fucking use a gun. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> but still, it's such a dumb stupid shit to be doing. I can't even begin to imagine to what point the brain rot has gotten to these people's heads to be doing just such stupid shit for views. And you can see that everyone there was drunk or high as fuck. Like if that gun was actually loaded, we would be talking about how that woman got her brains blown out live on stream just because how brain dead these streamers have become nowadays. And I mean, I am okay with the idea of moderation not being so restricted, but damn, do one thing is having loose moderation and another one is to have f***ing anarchy. If Kik wants to be a serious competitor to Twitch, they need to get their shit together and start making some changes on their site because as of now it's really bad. So yeah gamers, that is it for today's video. I just wanted to rant a little bit about this because in my opinion a lot of these cloud chasing demons that we are seeing as of late are a direct consequence of Kik being so permissive with some of this shit. If you pay attention, most of these horrible pranksters and streamers choose Kick to stream, so this is absolutely no coincidence. Hopefully this will change soon, and if not, well, I will keep farming them for content. <laughs> anyway, subscribe to my channel if you also think that Kick is a hellhole, and leave a like and a comment sharing your thoughts on this whole situation. I will be glad to read them. I am the GTA guy, take care, bye.